too dark. I got that one too bright. This is thin this. Now we're too dark. So okay. just go off your eye what looks best. Maybe like twice that. And now to record, you push this button. You see that red light? Yep. And you push it again to stop. Okay. Other thing you need to know, so this... Now we don't have a normal tripod, so it's going to be a lot harder to follow. Okay. But if you can follow smooth like this, I'm fine with that. Okay. If it looks like it's going to be too wobbly, just pick a really good shot and have it static. I'm okay with them going in and out of shot. Okay. Cool. Um, other things you need to know, so this is zoom in and out. Yep. And this is focus. Mm -hmm. um, and then, the final thing you need to know, we look up at the sky, see how it's blue? There's a filter on here. The more you spin it, it gets darker blue. <laughs> so spin this until it gets as dark blue as possible. Like it changes every time you change the angle. So really fast, I'm going to have it out of focus, camera off, show me what you do if you were going to film that tree. Now there's, there's two clicks just so you know. One, two. Make sure you go the full two clicks, otherwise you'll have problems. Now how do you go to video mode? Look at you, a little... <laughs> Okay, what am I filming? Uh, the bush like, in front. Now, yeah, now, what would I do? If it's kind of hard to tell if it's in focus, so I'll zoom in on the subject first. So you can tell it's actually out of focus, but it's too hard to tell when it's that far out. So you zoom in on your subject. And then you focus it? Yeah. Now, what's even nicer is this right here is a magnifying glass, so it will double zoom in to something, so you can actually see how in focus or out of focus it truly no, is. That's that plus button. You just have to push it twice, you go back to normal mode. And then how do you record? So normal mode. Record is right here. Uh, nope, it's this button right here. And then push it again. And we're good. Yeah. Any questions? No. Okay, you're good. That was Devin Graham's crash course in that was video. That digest um, super fast. <laughs> Nothing exciting, so this better not go on the web. Except I really know how to record. That was my mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. It was both our mistakes. Well, it was really cool, though, actually, seeing that all. That's it. The fast version. Learning from the best. Aperture, shutter, everything you need to know. That's all. Everyone thinks you need to know every setting on a camera. You don't. You just need to know ISO, shutter, aperture, or you just put on auto and take care of everything. Yeah, no, I mean, you covered polarizer, how to work the tripod, how to turn it on, how to start the video, how to get it in focus. And that's all I do. Those are the only settings I do. No, we know. <laughs> but when you give someone a two minute crash course and about to. But that really is all I use, though. I don't use any other settings. Okay. Except for auto white balance. Sometimes I'll change that, but that's a whole nother. Oh, yeah. That's a whole nother 30 seconds. Yeah. Good to go. We don't have that kind of time. Time is money when you're out here. Okay. And did you learn? Did you learn it all? Yeah, I learned a great deal. Yeah. He's a professional now. All right. And then composition, roll of thirds. You know what that means? Oh yeah. You do? What is no. it? I don't. Know. So roll of thirds. You always, you never frame someone in the center. It's always to the left or to the right. Okay. So just picture. Um, here's our box. Divide in threes. So they're either like here. Then threes, so they're either like in that corner, that corner, that corner, or that corner. Okay. Yeah. So never have them center. There's exceptions to the rules, but not for this project. Right, Scott? There'll be a pop quiz in 10 minutes to see if you still remember it. Roll of thirds. Type that in, Google that. That's like the main thing every photographer does. Even Scott does that rule, I think. Every so a often. Of pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Scott breaks the rules occasionally, but not a lot. Nice. Are you Scott? Scott?